it's that time once again back with another box the wizarding trunk i'm not sure what the theme of this box is the box isn't giving me any hints i'm sure you know because you saw the title of this video but as i'm filming i don't know it's a pretty cool box i like it it's um it's like a trunk so you can see the the leather straps and there would be the clasps clasps and the the locks and uh yeah let's see first class owl post got a little weasley wizard wheezes sticker there fragile magical delivery and then the bottom is just a bunch of scratches so as far as uh, subscription boxes go i like it pretty cool so let's see what we have inside okay <laughs> looks like we got a t-shirt which I think it's been a while since I've gotten a t-shirt in one of these boxes. So what the heck is that? Well, okay. Just doing our own thing now, I guess. All right, there it goes. So let's see what this t-shirt is all about. It feels nice and soft, and I kind of like the color. It's almost like a, a dark green, a navy green, not navy green, an army green, something like that. So there we go, Potions Club. So, all right yeah I like it a lot it feels nice and soft so that'll definitely be uh, oh that's the back of the shirt <laughs> here's the front of the shirt so all right I like it even more now because uh, I'm really a fan of um, you know just a small little design over the, the chest pocket and uh, something on the back so I like it a lot so that will definitely find its way into my rotation of many many Harry Potter t-shirts at this point but uh okay let's see what we got here so after the t-shirt a couple of boxes a couple of I mean look at that a lot of boxes in there so this this box is stuffed full so where do we start we'll go right here so a nondescript plain cardboard box oh, looks like this might be our potion I think these box, these boxes always give us a potion. So we have a small little burlap sack and there's something in it. So I don't know what that could be or if this is even supposed to be opened. Um, okay, we'll undo that twine knot and see what we have inside. So, whoa. Okay, so it looks like, I don't really want to take it out. There's some, well, you know, you're not going to be able to see any of this, but there's some fake grass and a bunch of, a bunch of multicolored pebbles. There's a lot of them in there. So I don't know. I'm wondering if maybe this is gillyweed and this is the stuff to put in the potion bottle because they i know i'm not the only one that has had problems with their bottles leaking on the way in on the you know they're on their travels so i'm wondering if maybe they just give you all the ingredients and you add your own water see okay i don't know what this is but can is it gonna it's pretty cool you can kind of yeah you can see it swirling that's pretty cool so a small little <laughs> green vial and then finally yep just as I suspected we have an empty bottle that I can fill up myself and a gilly tonic label so not bad to aid in underwater breathing pure blood apothecary and this is a sticker so I actually that's pretty cool I like it they gave me everything I needed. All I need, just add water. So I will most likely be doing that uh, pretty soon. And maybe you'll see it in the background of some video if I can find any more room up on the potion shelf. Let's put it all back together so I don't end up spilling it and breaking it before I can get it together. So there we go. Good enough on the floor with you. Oh, wow. There is a lot of stuff in this box. So, well, this pin jumped up at me next, so we'll go with that. And it looks to be a potion, yeah, the Draught of Living Death. 
Um, I'll open it and show it closer, but so I'm gonna assume potions might be the, the theme of this box. Okay. Always so difficult to get into these things. Okay, so you can see there, it's a potion bottle with a skull in it. That little tag that you will most likely cannot read says living death. And um, the stopper has come out and then this is some fumes. Let's see if it, so hopefully you got to see it. Tough for me to tell. Oh, wow. Okay, so another small little bottle, almost looks like a craft paint bottle. <laughs> it says, Armadillo Bile. Orange Blossom squeevo, Squeezable Wax Melt. So, I don't know if that's going to go with another item in here, but we'll find out soon, I'm sure. I don't really smell anything at all. Oh, now I can smell it. All right, so I don't know if you, it's nice and green in there. Um, definitely smells like oranges. So we'll see what that has to do with anything else. So reserve judgment until later. Okay. Here's a, a fun decorated box, bone regen with the skull on it. So, Magical remedies and healing. So I'm gonna assume this is gonna be a little replica of the bone regeneration potion. And I mean the 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 theme has to be potions now. I mean literally everything I've bought, everything I've got has been a potion. And that is indeed what it is. Very very cool. Um, this is fake. It's all like resin or something. So it's not an actual, uh, bottle like some of the other things. And, um, it's definitely going to go up there with the collection I have of these now. I think I've got four or five, uh, replicas of this at this point, but that's not a complaint. It's one of my, um, one of the items I wanted to have a rep an official replica of most it's one of the items I most wanted to have an official replica of, but I was disappointed to find out that until recently, they didn't even really make one. So I have a couple that were my own, uh, you know, picked up from Michaels or whatever, and then a couple of small ones that I got in other subscription boxes, and they finally came out with a real one. It's not exactly what I was expecting. I think you're actually supposed to drink water out of it, so... Um, a little bit odd, but as close as I'm gonna get. But enough about that. Cool item, I like it. Set it to the side. Okay. The premium potioneer equipment from Warwick's Brass Scale. So, I have no idea what to expect this. I mean, I suppose it could actually be a brass scale, but that I feel like that would be an odd item and hard to display if I could open it. Just see if the bottom wants to open. Something poking out of there, a piece of brass, oddly enough. Let's see if we can get this open. Oh my goodness. Trying not to rip it. There it is, okay. And it appears that that's what it's going to be. There's some miniature brass weights, grams I assume. Yep, 10 grams, 2 grams, so, and then we have the center post, Let's see if I can pop this together really quick, I don't know what this is, but it is wrapped up in some paper and some tape, that's the base, okay, so, it's, uh, it looks, it might be wood, Sounds like wood with some brass accents, so that's pretty cool. Let's see if I can figure out how to open this and put it together. 
without damaging anything. Okay, so there is... I'm not quite sure, I think it... I'm not quite sure how the hell this goes, how the heck this goes together. Well, that obviously goes in there. I wonder if this just sits over there. <laughs> Alright, looks like we're going to have to wait for the uh, instructions on how this is going to go together. So, use your imagination. <laughs> right. So again, um, a bit odd. I don't remember anything like that in the movie. I could understand how it would fit in with a potion-themed box, but I don't know if I'm going to find room to display it. Let's just continue on and see what else we got. I have some more bubble wrap with which, with what appears to be another potion bottle. The calming draught and um, this one just has looks like some salt and some um, flower pieces some other plant material some bigger salt maybe some pink Himalayan salt in there and uh, so not bad I am um, another potion for the potion shelf I'm getting I might have to make a new one to figure out where I'm gonna put all of these new potions so let's see what else we have in here okay i don't quite know what this is for but we have a small tea light tea candle so i'm gonna go out and limb and say that probably works with this somehow i might be getting a some sort of dish that i put that in and light a fire underneath it maybe a cauldron let's see what's in here Okay, we've got some styrofoam. <laughs> Not having a lot of luck here tonight. So there we have a metal base. We'll set that to the side and see what jumped out of the box. Up, oh, and there it is, a cauldron. So I'm gonna assume tea light goes there. Okay, so tea light underneath to light up the cauldron and most likely pour some of that in there to get this room smelling like oranges. So neat idea. We'll see if it actually gets some use. Quite a bit in this box. I'm running out of room on my desk to put things. But I think we're almost, we're getting down there. Only a few items left. Okay, so this appears to be a potion master's key. Quite a little bit smaller than some of the other key replicas that I've uh, that I've seen in other boxes. But I suppose it could be to like the storeroom where all the potion ingredients are kept. So it might just be a small closet type key. It has PS on it. Could be potion storeroom. I guess that's what we'll go with. And then, I don't know if you're going to see any details, but this looks like a potion bottle, almost like Felix Felicis. And then we have, this is a cauldron with some smoke billowing out of it. So, not bad. Kind of odd, it's flat on one side. Normally keys aren't like that. I guess if you hung it on a wall, it could work. But we'll see. And then it looks like we have... Ooh, a very nice pin that I like very much. This will definitely find a way onto the pin board. So we have a portrait of Severus Snape. So, and it's some artwork. It's not Alan Rickman, but it's definitely inspired by Alan Rickman. So pretty cool. That will definitely, I mean, this is almost like action figure size. Like if I put this in one of my action figure displays as a background piece, it would fit perfectly so maybe the pin board isn't where it's going to live maybe it'll find some 
some other home. It looks like I have the paper replicas and one smoke is that? Okay, I think I've gotten everything out from the middle of all these worms. So let's see what we have here. We have one more box. Only the purest of potions from the pure blood apothecary, black lacewing flies. So a potion ingredient for polyjuice potion, if I remember correctly. But let's see what's inside of it. I like their little magical box designs. It's, you know, not a typical thing. One slides inside the other, but it is quite difficult to get into. Or maybe I'm not supposed to get into it, but there's definitely something in there. <laughs> Riveting content. It's me struggling to open boxes, although I guess that's kind of a theme with a lot of these subscription boxes. They pack these things so well for travel that they make them difficult to get in. Up, oh, and there we go. Lacewing flies, and it is a handful of small plastic flies. Let's see if you can see that. So, got uh, three, six, eight of them. So, okay. Definitely something I was not expecting in this box. But there we are. Okay. Where do we start here? Okay, so they've been doing these, um, I think I got a binder last time for these torn out potion pages. And this one is the preparation of the Wolfsbane potion. So just another one to add to there. And then we have, okay, so this is the cheat sheet. On this side, it says the preparation of Gilly Tonic, which is how I'm going to mix my own Gilly tonic. Um, so I'll try to do that later. And then we have the actual cheat sheet on the back. But before I read that, we have just a small art print of a potion desk. So we have our cauldron and our potions and the book. Little mortal and pestle. So not bad. Okay, so let's see. The Potion Club's t-shirt. Super soft t-shirt. Only available for members of the Potion Club. The Cauldron Wax Warmer. Designed in your maker room. Smell just like the potion you're brewing. The Armadillo Bile Wax Melts. A few drops of this squeezable wax melt into your new wax warmer will fill your room with the amazing scent of Armadillo Bile. How could anyone resist? Um... The portrait pin, portrait hangs in the dungeon and oversees your potions classes. The potion storeroom key. Keys allow access to the potion master's private storeroom. The potions class print. A view from your desk during potions class. The wolf's bane recipe page. Torn right out of the book. Perfect potions. The black lacewing flies. Postal, a staple for your potions kit or shelf. The bone regen potion. Um, healing potion mends and straightens broken bones. It is also re it can also regrow vanished bones entirely. Um, the living death pin. I dare say one drop would kill us all. The gilly tonic DIY kit. It's time to brew your gilly tonic to breathe underwater. We can't wait to see the bottles that you make. The vintage brass scale. Scales from Warwick's potion supplies are a necessity when weighing potion ingredients. And the calming draught bath potion. Mixture of alchemy for the skin contains a whole bunch of stuff. Um, makes for a calming bath and looks great on any shelf. So I guess <laughs> that's an actual usable item. So let me see if I can one last time to try to figure this out. I wonder if, okay, I think I did. We're going to loop that into there. There we go. So now we have our scales. So overall, a jam-packed box. I have always been a fan of the potions, uh, point to my homemade potions shelf up there. Um, but this was wild. <laughs> like there, there is just so much going on. I, uh, I'm going to struggle to find room 
to have all this stuff in here. So, I don't know. Look for it in the background of uh, some upcoming videos, and we'll see what happens. But um, I guess that's all that's going to be said. Awesome box. I am really happy um, that I decided to subscribe to the Wizarding Trunk. Um, definitely one of the best subscription choices I've ever made. Because some of the other boxes I decided to subscribe to have been quite disappointing. And maybe that'll be a story for an, another time whenever any of those boxes ever arrive. So, all right. That's enough out of me. And I will see you next time. Whenever that may be. It's the uh, most wonderful time of the year coming up here real soon. Halloween. So, bye. Have a good night.